let's take a look at how you'd solve an equation with maple because maple is very good at solving very very complicated equations so I'm going to put maple through the paces on these three equations right here now the basic idea in solving an equation is to first enter it 2x squared minus 3 times x plus 2 equals x minus 5 times x minus 8 once you've got an equation entered, what you can do is you can select its output, right-click on it, and you'll get a context menu that will almost always have solve on it. And so the basic idea is to go to solve, solve for the variable x, and voila, I get that the only two solutions to this equation are x equals minus 5 plus 3 root 7, and x equals minus 5 minus 3 root 7. The solve command always tries to find algebraically exact, that's symbolic solutions. Unfortunately, a lot of times we want numeric solutions. And an easy way to do this is if maple returns output, you can type in eval. Remember, that's the approximation command. And just tell it to approximate what it found on line 2. Now, to insert the line 2, you go under insert label 2. I'll put a closing parenthesis in the semicolon, and it says that those two values are about 2.9 and minus 12.9. So about 3 and 13. It's useful to check your answers graphically. Now, to check your answers graphically, let me copy this down and sort of give you the basic idea here. I can't plot an equation like this. I can only plot y equals something. But to check if this and this are equal, it's the same thing as to check whether or not the difference is zero. So I can plot this one function, who is the difference of the left-hand side and the right-hand side, say x going from minus 20 to 20, and I only need to do it on a window that has zero in it because I'm asking what are the intercepts, the x-intercepts of this new function. And when I plot this curve, I see that it crosses the x-axis around minus 13 and around, what is that, about 3, which is completely consistent with the information above here. So let's try this out on the next example. The next example is x to the 5 plus 3x minus 8 equals 0. Oops, I forgot to multiply, so I'll put a times in there and I'll rerun the command. Here is my uh, equation. I'll select it, right-click, and go down to solve. Solve for the variable x. Whoa, that's some strange output. When Maple can't solve it exactly, and Maple can only do as much as we can, it was made by people, after all, it will spit out the phrase root of, which means it doesn't know how to symbolically solve it. The good news, though, is even though it can't give you an algebraic value, it can give you a numeric value. So if I still do eval, type in line label 2, I can find out that I have x equals 1.3, and then I have 1, 2, 3, 4 other values, each of which have i in them, which means all of the other values are imaginary. There's only one real solution to this. Again, I could check that by graphing. Now, if I want to check where this equation is equal to 0, that's the same thing as finding the x-intercepts of the left-hand side. So I'm going to plot the left-hand side. x going from, say, minus 10 to 10, y going from minus 10 to 10, and all I care about is where this curve crosses the x-axis. And if I look at it, it crosses the x-axis eh, maybe about a little less than 1 and a half, and that's completely consistent with my only real solution. So let's take a look at this last equation. That's sine of x equals x squared. Again, I'll right-click, choose solve, solve for the variable x, and I get this crazy output right here, which means it doesn't know how to do it algebraically. I type in eval, line 2, and it tells me that it's 0. And I could actually double-check that sine of 0 does equal 0. So let's check it with a plot. So I'm going to go oops, to make the plot. Once again, I can't actually go and plot an equation like this. But to check that the left-hand side and the right-hand side are equal is the same thing as checking whether their difference is zero. And so I can plot this function, x going from, say, minus 2 to 2, y going from minus 2 to 2, and see where it crosses the x-axis. And you'll notice that it crosses the x-axis actually a second time that maple misses. Sometimes it's solving will find one value but miss the other, which is why it's important to graph. So how are you going to find this second solution right here? Well, Maple actually has a technique for doing that as well. I'll select this, right-click, and go back down to solve. But you'll notice the very right here, there's numerically solve from a point. This means you can say, I think it's, I have a second solution close to 1. And when I type this in, Maple will say that it's numerically about 8.7. And that's completely consistent with the information here. And that's my other solving tool.